The Brothers Quibble by Aaron Blaney. Spalding Quibble ruled the roost. He shared it with no other. But then his parents introduced a brand new baby brother. Spalding didn't understand. He felt a bit delirious. He took his mother by the hand and said, You can't be serious. Is this some sort of joke, he cried. It really isn't funny. Hush now, Spalding, mother sighed, and say hello to Bunny. Mother kissed her babe to sleep. Father watched with pride, and Spalding felt a feeling creep from somewhere deep inside. Curse you, devil! Spalding spat, then ran and slammed the door. I rule the roost, and that is that. From now on, this means war. And so began young Spalding's spree of unprovoked attacks. He traumatised his family and no one could relax. His mother's nerves were shot to bits, his father's head was balding, and Bunny's life was just the pits. Oh, what to do with Spalding. For months on end they lived in gloom, and all day long they'd shout, Spalding, go! Get in your room! We've had enough. Time out. The time did pass. Yes, pass it did, and Bunny Quibble grew. He grew into an actual kid. Yes, that's what babies do. He learned to sit. He learned to crawl. He even learned to walk. He learned to dodge a cricket ball and then he learned to talk. Spalding. And when young Bunny found his voice and spoke that simple word, Spalding, 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 Spalding. Well, things did change. Oh, yes. Rejoice. A miracle occurred. You see, despite the pain that came with every whack or shove, Bunny spoke his brother's name with nothing less than love. With every word or game he'd play, or every cheerful scribble, Bunny seemed to only say, I love you, Spalding Quibble. And even when the bully boy was sentenced to time out, Bunny would invent a ploy to break his brother out. And slowly all this love began to thaw young Spalding's heart. His evil-minded master plan, it gently fell apart. In time, he slowly came to see that living with his brother was not a total tragedy. In fact, they liked each other. Of course, it wasn't always grand, nor was it always sunny, and Spalding came to understand. You shouldn't mess with Bunny. But even though it comes to blows, and every day they fight, these days Spalding sort of knows that Bunny is all right.